Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Detention. If you guys kept up with the last episode, then you know what's going on. We are in this room. We got this key. It's right here. It's called the Medical Supply Storage Key, hidden in the visual chart light box. The key to the Medical Supply Storage Room. Yeah. So we are going to go over there right now. We're going to unlock some things. We're going to do some things. So let's continue. The door is locked from the other side. Can I use this? Is this it? This doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's a random thing. And I can't turn on the light. All I have is this candle that never seems to run out of the candle wick. Which is very cool. There's something on the floor. Should I grab it? I'm gonna slowly creep up and grab this thing. A note on the floor. Added illustration food offerings. Picked up on the health center corridor. Put down the offerings and revere the linger. Then hold your breath and do not linger. Got it. I do have some food offering right here. I don't know if it's stale or it's gross or it's nasty, but we're gonna put it right there. And this bitch is hungry. This bitch is hungry. Okay. So we're gonna hold our breath. We're gonna hold our hot breath. And we are gonna proceed over there. And I figured out why the screen turns blurry. It's because I'm trying to hold my breath. And I'm holding it for so long that I end up passing out. But there you go. We're good. A storage room for medical supplies. We do have the key. It's right over here. Looky, looky. So yeah, I was wondering. I was like, wait, why is the screen getting so damn blurry? It's because she's holding her breath. She doesn't know how to breathe quietly. She can't just go... She has to breathe like... <sighs> so all these lingered find her. Well, it's not our fault. I guess we're a protagonist that breathes heavily. Emergency shower is an eye wash station. Something's in the water bowl. Another die? We got two dice. Yeah, baby. That's what I like to see. A sharp smell coming from the metal box. This is paint thinner? Huh. We got some paint thinner and two die. All right. Unlocking the door. I can get in now. Thank you for telling me that. Oh, we're in here now. Okay, so that connected to the medical supply room. Let's save our progress real quick. I feel blessed. Thank you. And we're going to get one more offering. So a food offering seems to appear on that stool because I grabbed one earlier and then... I oh, shit. Oh, God. We're going to go down there. Yeah, I grabbed one of the food offerings earlier and now there was another one. So maybe we can keep going there and picking up food offerings. Oh, shit. Another lingered. Uh, I think I'm going to go... What is this? What room is this? Died young written on a paper. This is Way's classroom. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. I don't like that screaming. It's making me feel very uncomfortable. And I like that you guys, I like the response that you guys had in the comment section. You thought this was very creepy and you wanted to see more. I'm glad that you guys want to see more. We're gonna go on the first floor. It's kind of weird. I don't know where to go. I don't know exactly where I'm going right now. Oh shit. I hear somebody. I hear somebody. Hold on. Hello? Where are you? Where is she? Oh, right there, right there. Okay. Uh, should I put another food offering on the ground? Okay, I'm gonna put one on the ground. I'm gonna put one on the ground. Hold my breath! Hold my breath! Shit! Shit, 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 shit! Okay. Food offering! Here! Eat the rice! Eat the rice! Eat the rice! Eat it! Eat it! It's so good and yummy! Oh shit, she doesn't give a fuck. She doesn't give a fuck. Ooh! We're gonna go in there. We're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill. Are there any food offerings in here? No. It's only a save station. Fuck. Hopefully that food offering is still there, because if it's not, I am so screwed. She's not eating it. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. Get close to her, and then hold your breath slowly. Hold your breath ever so slowly, Ray. <laughs> yes. We're good. We're good. We're good. Get in there. I don't know where this is. I can't remember where we were. This is the auditorium. Is Wei still there? Is he still hanging around? Yes, he is. He's just chilling. Okay, we're gonna go back this way, and I'm gonna try to figure out where I need to go. I can't open it because of the talisman. Can we use paint thinner? This should be able to remove the talisman drawing. Yay! That was totally by chance, too. I didn't even know I could use that. So now we can go in here. Cool. I like it when I just stumble upon things that I didn't even plan on stumbling upon. It's awesome. Why is there a knife stabbed in the table? Despite the rust, it still looks sharp. Utility knife. There's a creepy picture right here. 
Poster of a famous celebrity. Is it PewDiePie? Let's go in here. Ooh. What is this? It's a bull. Can we put the dice in here? Should I throw the dice? Yes. But I've seen people doing it. I think it requires three dice to play. Okay, so I need three dice to play this game with the bull. So I need to find one more, and then we can play this, and we gotta figure out what's going on. A water bucket. Something's in there. Another die! Yay, I have three dice! Okay, let's play this bull game. I have three dice now. Toss the dice. Yes! See what happens, come on. Show me the money. Ew! Looks like teeth. Whoa, what's this? Teeth? I thought I was holding dice. Well, you thought wrong, lady. These numbers, no way. I am pretty sure those were dice when I threw them. Dice? Teeth? After throwing the dice into the bowl, they turned into teeth. Are the numbers supposed to mean something? Six, two, three. Six, two, three, we gotta figure out what that means. What's that sound? The bowl came loose. What? Ceramic bowl. Good, we got a ceramic bowl. The room smells like old alcohol and smoke. I am suffocating. It reminds me of when I was a kid. Let's get out of here. This is really freaking me out. Mostly because the sounds are so crazy. A note on the bench. Like, if you're watching this playthrough, make sure that you have the volume up because it's way scarier because of this ambience. It's just like this constant sound of dread and it's really effective in this game. Illustration, cutting throat. Found in Mr. Cow's room. The prophecy is revealed when a sacrifice is made with the blood of the innocent. I think I know what to do. I need to go back to Wei and I need to slit his throat and then I need to put the blood in a bowl and then I need to do something with that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go over there and do that right now. I don't have any more paint thinner, do I? No, because I remember there's another door with a talisman drawing. Maybe I could have gotten that out, but we're gonna go back to Wei. We're gonna slice his throat. I know that sounds fucked up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, get in there. Whoa. Whoa, ay caramba. Whew, okay, Wei, I'm sorry we're gonna have to do this, but you're already dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? We're gonna have to take this and slice the throat. Like so. Hey. Did we slice it? What? Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, Wei. I am so sorry. And then we put the bowl here. The blood's draining into the bowl. Cool, we got a bowl of blood. Oh shit, his eyes open! What the fuck? Yo! I saw his eyes open! I'm so sorry, I don't know what else to do. His eyes just opened. That was so creepy. Okay, we're getting out of here. I think we need to bring the bowl of blood where? Where do we need to do that? Have I seen somewhere where we can make an offering? What's this? I hope I can wake up from this nightmare. Can we check in here? Oh no, same thing. Okay, I know there's a person. There's a lingered right outside. Where you at, girl? Okay, hold my breath. Gotta hold this hot taco smelling breath. Lingered! Okay. Okay, all right, run. Just exhale, girl, just go. Whew. Okay, we're good now. The sign for our principal's office. I think I know where to go. It's Wei's classroom. I think we need to put the bowl on his desk. The sounds in this game really remind me of Silent Hill. And I remember that was probably one of the freakiest games I've ever played. I'm talking about Silent Hill 2, by the way! Shit! Okay, we're going back in the classroom. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 was very scary. Probably one of the scariest games I've ever played in my life. I've played it multiple times, too. Like, one playthrough is just not enough for a game like that. You gotta do it multiple times. Where is his desk? Ah, I'm gonna try to go on the first floor. Everything kind of looks the same, though. This has to be the room. I remember the blood stain right outside the classroom. Yes, this is it. There's the desk. We did it. High five, guys. Put the bowl right here. The blood sank into the marks. What can I use to print out the engravings? Uh... That's probably not gonna work. This doesn't do anything, of course. Notebook? Making a print with the notebook. Yay, I did it! Added to journal, blood print. Written from the symbols and numbers from I Ching, or the Book of Changes, an ancient Chinese divination text, a microcosm of the universe and a symbolic description of the processes of change. 
Or, you know, the code for the lock that's on the door on the first floor. Or is it the third floor? I think it might be the first floor, yeah. So this is the code. But how do we know how to decipher the code? Wait, we know the numbers now. We know the symbols. So let's head back over there and see what we can do. Where is this scary bitch? There you are. Just keep creeping up. Keep creeping up. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, Ray. Okay, she stops right there. She's coming back, she's coming back. Don't let her smell your breath. All right, there you go, there you go. Maybe her breath smells like rice. And whenever she breathes, the lingard's like, hmm, got rice? All right, here's the gates. Now that we know the code, and then the dice, the dice, it showed 632, I believe. 623, 623, okay. So six is... Two blocks up, one long solid block, and then two small blocks. There you go, that's six. Two is two little small ones up top and two long solid ones at the bottom. So two solid on the bottom and two small ones up top. There you go. And then three is like a hamburger. Two solids trapping a small one. There you go. Click sound from the lock. We got it. We did it, guys. That's what I'm talking about. I believed in you, and you guys believed in me. Teamwork. See? It's called teamwork, baby. Oh, crap. I guess we need to go up this way. I feel like something scary is gonna happen. Hello? Anyone up here? Let's go in here. Always just gotta go in any available door, right? Whoa. Okay, let's save real quick. This is an altar for praying. Save progress? Yes. Feel blessed. Good. Feel super blessed. Do I hear anybody? No, it's just creepy, creepy music. What's this? Oh, this is the other way. That's the other side. So we made it across. So we don't actually need to break that. We came across. Does that make any sense? I don't know, but we're down here in this hallway. It's locked. Great. Wait, what the hell is that noise? What the hell? <gasps> Who's that? Whoa. Whoa! 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 What the fuck? Holy shit! Holy shit, holy shit, boss! Holy shit, boss! Run! Wait, why is this never ending? Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, 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 please, 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 please. Shit! It's chasing me! What is chasing me? Why does it want my ass so bad? I have rice! I can give you rice, just calm down. Get in here, get in here, get in here! Fuck! Holy crap! That is terrifying! Oh, shit. Whoa. There's a bunch of symbols over here. And something on the table. Counseling record. Piece of ripped counseling record. Age 17. Mother is a housewife. Negative troubled attitude. Constant tardiness. Gradually improving. Require follow-up. Encouraged leisure activities such as reading. Signed by faculty members, counselor Cheng Ming Hui, homeroom teacher Yin Sui Han, JROTC officer Bao Go Fong, principal Shen Gin. Okay, any of you guys who can speak this language, I know I butchered that pretty damn bad. Come on, but I tried. I tried my best. Whoa! Whoa! That's cool! We're in a different area. Someone cleaned the desk up for me. Probably mom. I feel like there's no privacy in this house. They say I should enjoy my youth, but I find it difficult. What happens after graduation? Where should I go? Will I end up like mom? <sighs> Stop worrying so much, Ray. Life moves on regardless. Be hopeful. At least this weekend's going to be... What? Is it gonna be fun? You got a hot date? I sleep much better on my own bed. Doesn't everybody? I mean, hotel beds are pretty comfortable, but I feel like I sleep the best when I'm in my own bed. A well-built closet. It was part of mom's dowry. What? Mom's throwing my stuff away without telling me. Old photograph in trash. Photograph found in trash. A quote is written on it. Remember, hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. That's a lie. I hate it when she does this. Everything dies. Da, 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 da. They're fighting again. Feeling a bit sleepy now. I should go back to bed. No, I want to see them fight. I want to see them fight. I want to see why they're fighting. Are they fighting over me? Go to bed? 
I guess. I mean, is there anything else I can check? It's quite foggy outside. I can barely see the roads. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Let's sleep it off. Let's go night-night. If a paper plane could whisk my dreams away from here, where I could wake up and find myself in a foreign land, to start a new life as a stranger to all. Oh, how wonderful that'd be. What's that noise? Oh, this is where Wei found us. Knocked out over here in this chair in the auditorium. Wake up, girl. Wake your sleepy ass up. So it's one of those kind of games where everything's so disorienting and you don't know where you are and it constantly flips from scenario to scenario. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the gist of this. The command post? So this is the middle of the field. So we're not in the auditorium, we're actually outside. We can feel the breeze on our cheeks. It's a nice night tonight, actually. Looks like it's kinda hailing. These are like spiked hails. Surprised she hasn't gotten hurt yet. The field's collapsed here. Everything's flooded onto a river of crimson mud. There doesn't seem to be an end. This is where Wei brought us, where the sea was red, right? And I thought it was some fruit punch Kool-Aid. Because everybody likes some fruit punch Kool-Aid, right? Sounds like somebody's drinking something. You guys hear that? Like somebody's going... <coughs> Maybe that's just a bad sound effect. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. I'm having a blast. What is this? Oh, a save station. Yes, Papi Chulo. Let's pray. Now let's grab this. There's a note on the desk. Illustration. Hei by Wu Chang. Black and white impermanence. According to legends, they are two ancient officials. During a routine inspection, misfortune befell them and they perished trying to protect one another. The Lord of the Dead, seeing their loyalty, appointed them the duty of messengers of death. It was then that people who died would see them arrive to claim their souls. Why are their tongues so damn long though? I bet their girlfriends enjoyed that. Anyway, I'm starting to realize that everything we pick up is a clue to a puzzle that we need to do. These puzzles aren't exactly that difficult, but I feel like everything we pick up is something that leads us to another place that we need to go. So I'm always gonna remember these. These aren't just random notes. And this isn't just a random door. That's a fancy door. Oh, it's the long tongue guys. What's up guys, what's that? Two figures are carved on the door. These are supposed to be guardians, but they look more like the Hai Bai Wu Chang. Their hands look like they should be holding something. What could they be missing? Well, let's check the illustration. One guy's holding a fan, and one guy's holding his tongue, or a salmon, or something. So we need to find that, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so we gotta find it somewhere. Sounds pretty good. Where are we gonna find it? I have no clue, but I'm gonna make sure I put my mouse all over the place so I don't miss a thing. What's this? During summer breaks, the boys in class would use this as their battle tank. Unfortunately, they quickly broke the wheels. There's a note on the cart. Lantern Spectre. An illustration of the Lantern Spectre. If you chance upon a lantern spirit, avert your gaze and stand unmoving. When it comes near, still your breath. Do not panic and it will keep moving. Okay, so this is a new spirit. It's kind of like the Lingerer, but it's called the Lantern Spectre. So if we see it, we have to turn our body facing away from it. We can't move, and if it comes close to us, we gotta hold that breath. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop up any second now, right? Because usually when that happens, there's somewhere near. Is it in here? Lantern Spectre? Are you here? The glass beakers here are from our biology lab. They are each holding puppets inside. I don't see a Lantern Spectre. But I feel like this is a- whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Something swinging right there. Oh shit. That's her moving them with her body. A brick furnace. I remember back then, mom said she burned spirit money to bless our health and good fortune. I always thought of it as closer to dealing with the devil. You might be right about that. You might be right about that. Let's get out of here. This is kind of creepy. It's freaking me out. I feel like these things are going to start chasing me or something. 
And I don't like this place. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. Should we go up, down, or left? I feel like I should clear this floor first. The door is locked from the other side. All right, never mind then. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go downtown. Bring it around town. A kneeling figure with a wooden token on its back. Can't really tell who it is with a hood on its head. Sorry, my guy. That's unfortunate. Wooden stocks and shackles. A bit of dried blood on the edges. Is it the same thing for everyone? So it's the same kind of figure kneeling. Yeah. That's kind of weird. The temple's divine incense burner. Before we pray, mom always lights three incense sticks. She tells the gods her name and birthplace, then launches into a spiritual drivel. She often lays her many problems and wishes upon them. Why does she not tell a real person? Instead, they fall upon an invisible god. Well, some people like that spiritual stuff. I know my mom, she believes in stuff like that too. Not on that kind of level. The cell's empty. It smells like rotting plants. Oh, I bet that smells like shit. Another kneeling figure? Come on. It's gotta be something new. Give me something new. Ooh, what's that? Spirit money? Oh, I'm rich, biatch! So we use the spirit money to throw in the incense burner, right? Okay, we'll make our way over there, but first, let's go inside here, a metal door. It's locked. Well, motherfuck, okay! Whoa, what was that? What was that? Why is this cell door fixed now? Before it was open. That's kind of weird. <gasps> oh, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh no. Something better not be chasing me. Hey, do you know what's going on here, buddy? No? You didn't see anything? Oh yeah, hood's over your head? Yeah, I bet. What about you? Okay, same thing? Same deal? We're gonna go back upstairs. What was that thing shaking its body? That was kind of weird. Let's go back here and burn some money. We need to burn some of that spirit money. Let's throw our money. Oh, otherworldly spirits, I offer this money to ask for your protection. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> the fire went out. The furnace has suddenly gone cold. Is something in there? How can this be? It should have been reduced to ashes if it was inside. It's the fan that we need that guy with the long tongue to hold. Yay! Cool. Oh, shit. Why are they swinging? Hey, what are you guys doing? I didn't say you could do that. Oh shit, oh shit, what the fuck? What? Oh shit. No, that was supposed to happen. I think. Right? Don't tell me that I'm starting from somewhere else. Uh. Oh shit, who the fuck, who the fuck, who the fuck, who the fuck? These human-like objects are filled with evil over time. Hold my breath, hold my breath, hold my breath. Shit, 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 shit. Who the fuck are you, Granny? Leave me alone! I'm holding my breath! Oh, wait. Is she cool? Are you cool, Granny? Granny's cool. She's cool. She's cool, guys. She's not a bad guy. She's just some random crazy person. Okay, I think we need to hold our breath when we go through here, right? Yeah, because the lady told me to hold my stank-ass breath, so that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe this girl should brush her teeth before she goes in some demon worlds. Don't pass out, don't pass out, don't pass out. It's getting blurry. Woo! Whew. Just exhale, girl, just breathe. <sighs> Get some oxygen in the brain. So I got the fan, but I don't think we should do anything until I get both items, so... I... I'm not gonna go up to the roof because it's locked. So we're just gonna go over here. Do I hear anybody? I hear something. Is it Lantern Guy? Oh shit, I think that's Lantern Guy. Is that him? No, it's just lit up. It's lit. Ooh. The film in the media room is being projected from here. Our military education class often played political propaganda. 
The instructor always has a million things to say about whatever happens in the film. Are there any other films I can play? Maybe? I guess we need to find a film reel. Let's check over here. There are various films on this rack. They seem to be all tangled together. Okay, I guess not. Let's get out of here. There's nothing good in here. I think this is the room where the reel is projecting to. So we can see what's playing on here. Ooh. Whose face is that? And there's a grave? Oh, that's so creepy. An unmarked grave embedded in the middle of the room. Shouldn't be anything buried underneath. There are three unlit incense sticks here. Take incense or leave? I feel like if I take it, something bad's gonna happen. But I'm gonna take it. I'm taking it! Incense. What does that say on the tombstone? The grave of Wei Chung Ting? Oh, right. Wei, he already... Is the legacy of the deceased always just a mere rock? I feel like... This is a creepy-ass room. Why does that face look like Yao Ming's face? Like his laughing face? You know, the one that turned into a meme? Where he's like, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, God, that is so creepy, dude. I'm getting out of here. That is disturbing. Let's put the incense in that room where we can burn the incense. I think it's where all the cells are. And then maybe we can get the tongue that we need to put into the statues. <gasps> oh, shit! Whoa! Okay, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. And then when he comes near, just gotta hold my breath. Holy shit. This guy is tall. Speaking of Yao Ming, this guy could be a basketball player. Don't smell me. Don't smell me. Yeah, I use Dove shampoo. Yeah, you could get yours at Walmart. Get out of here. Oh shit, I'm about to pass out. Woo! How did he not see me? I guess this guy is blind. I wonder if he's using a light. This dude's blind as fuck. I feel like one of these kneeling guys is gonna try to do something to me. I just had that feeling. You know when you have that feeling in your bones? No? They're not gonna do anything? Okay. I just said that because, you know, I was trying to intimidate them. Let's put that in here. I do as mom does with incense in hand. Ignoring the kinds of prayers she'd prefer. I ask the gods only for a way to live as myself. What was that sound? I think something opened and something is gonna chase me, right? Because that's the only explanation that I have. Is this unlocked? No, it's still locked. Shit. What's down here? What is down here? Is it a lantern guy? Is it one of those tall bitches with a lantern? It's gotta be. But maybe I could just hold my breath. Right? No, kneeling guy's still there. And, oh shit, that door is unlocked. But there's something there. Prison gate is open. The wood token on the statue's back is loose. Yes, I got it. Cool. Thanks for that, man. You the man. You the man with a plan. Sorry I can't unlock you. I can't unshackle you. But now that I have what I need, I think we can just stroll over here. Yeah, see? She's strutting her stuff like it ain't no thing. Here we go. Yeah, these are pretty easy puzzles. Let's put this one here. And then that one there. Yeah! Door unlocked! A chill air drifts inward. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode of Detention here. There seems to be a door right on this side. We are gonna go inside of it and we're gonna check what happens in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this and wanna see more, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!